But uh, I do want to uh, really promote uh, the pro-patria, uh, the wellbeing wellness centre that is in Devon. The Carmelite nuns have uh, offered up their site in North Ashmont uh, to further that uh, particular facility. Uh, and there are many, many good community board members on that. Uh, David Bardos, Ann Delaney, Paul Fernan, Alan Lane, Brad Maynard, Helen Wheeler, Jason Frost, uh, making sure that they can make a difference for veterans, for first responders as well. Uh, Colonel James Hammett, the uh, former Commandant of ARTC Kapuka, was an honorary committee member. He was pushing it as well during his time there. Uh, he's, uh, he's since moved on and we thank him for his service to Kapuka. Uh, but as I say, there are many other community members as well. Uh, Lyle Salmon as the chair, Jane Barnes, uh, Lachlan Feeney, Dr Jim Reid, Angelo Strano, Colin Taggart uh, and Jackie Van der Velde, uh, all of whom are, are making a difference, trying to progress that, uh, hoping to get uh, funding. And I appreciate I've had a good long chat or chats with the, uh, not just the uh, Veterans Affairs Minister, but indeed the Deputy Prime Minister, who was also the Minister for Defence, uh, in relation to that. The former coalition government promised $5 million for a wellbeing centre in Wagga Wagga. It just makes good sense. I mean, we've got so many veterans in Wagga Wagga, uh, home of the soldier, spend any given time in the Air Force, you end up at Wagga Wagga, and indeed a Navy, an important Navy strategic base as well, even though we uh, don't have a lot of water uh, generally around the, the area unless it's flooding, and I'm not sure that HMAS Adelaide will be down the Murrumbidgee River any time soon. But I commend this, this particular bill. I thank again the Minister for having the foresight, the dedication and the commitment to attend the chamber while people are speaking about this bill. I commend him for the work that he is doing in this space uh, right at the present time and wish him all the very best for the future.